we are going to use the splatter type pastes to reproduce ground effects on the undersides and undercarriage of a vehicle. Splatters are less dense than ground pastes and are specifically designed to recreate effects such as mud and dirt splatters. We will combine some of them, trying to achieve a realistic result. Like the other pastes in the ACT Diorama series, they are also acrylic and can be diluted with water. I have run a test with light colored AK8031 to imitate dust. The paste is quite liquid and not very dense. To create the effect, I have used a toothpick and a stiff bristled brush for splashing the product onto the surface. The result is very rough and the paste adheres very well to the surface, so it will endure subsequent treatments. The reference AK8030 has a medium brown color and closely mimics cake turf. The result is similar to the previous one, rough and hard. The high adherence of these pastes allows their subsequent handling without problems. The reference AK8026 has a dark brown color and a glossy finish which is appropriate for representing wet mud. Its behavior and results achieved using it are similar to the other splatter type pastes. In the first part of the process we will combine both references with plaster to obtain greater volume and roughness. Using this, we will try to imitate the earth accumulations in the lower part of the hull and around the axles of the wheels. We apply the mixture with a hard brush directly on the vehicle's surface. Once applied, with a round synthetic brush moistened in water we blend the edges and distribute the mixture conveniently. Finally, using a sponge with remove excess water and obtain the greatest possible texture. Once the paste that had been applied in the previous process dries, we continue with the reference AK8030, splashing it mainly in the lower area and around the axles of the wheels. We apply it slightly diluted with water, using a toothpick and a hard brush, projecting it onto the surface in form of splashes. During this process we try to avoid covering the previously treated area completely. We remove the largest accumulations with a brush and water, regularly checking the result as we go through the process. It is convenient to place the part or the vehicle in the appropriate position so that the splashes do not stain areas that we do not want to get dirt. The last part of the process is to imitate the fresh mud accumulated on the vehicle. For this task, we combine the references AK8030 and AK8026. The effect will be created in a similar way as in the previous phase, with the mixture being splashed only on small portions of the lower areas, and around the axles, always without covering the previous effects. We place the part or the model in a way that allows us to work comfortably, during the process we obtain more nuances and therefore greater chromatic richness. This is the end of the application process for splatter type pastes. If until now we mainly focused on the texture, from now on we will start working on the color. For this purpose, we will use enamels for dust and earth effects. It is advisable to use a dark, a medium and a light color, always starting from the darkest ones. We apply them directly from the bottle. And we mix them using white spirit type diluent, trying to create vertical streaks. 
to give more depth and contrast, we will use oils from ABT Lung 502, ABT 004 Bitume, ABT 007 Raw Umber and ABT 006 Burnt Umber. To dilute and mix them, we will use White Spirit and Reference AK079 Wet Effects Fluid. We prepare the mixture on a piece of cardboard and dry the brush a little on absorbent paper. We apply streaks of various colors from top to bottom, creating accumulations of dark color at the bottom. In this part of the process we should not worry too much about rims, sometimes being the main goal of it. Once we have finished, we begin adding small splashes using a mixture with the addition of AK079 wet effects. We use an old brush and a wooden toothpick, always starting at the bottom. Once the enamels and oils are dry, we can see the finished work. The combination of the splatters to achieve texture, and the enamels and oils to give color, offers very apparent and natural results and is fast and comfortable. We hope you have enjoyed this video and that it helps you with your models. We invite you to follow us on YouTube on the official AK channel.